I'm going to start by making a new third person project. Once the project loads, go to Edit Plugins and enable the DAS to Unreal plugin. Now in DAS Studio, select your character, click File, Send to DAS to Unreal. For Genesis 3 or Genesis 8 characters, you need to check the Fixed Twist Bones box. For Genesis 9, you don't check the box. Once the character is transferred, right-click on the skeletal mesh and choose Create IK Retargeter. You'll choose the SKM Mani asset as the retarget source. Right-click on the Animation Blueprint for Mani, and we're going to retarget animation assets using the IK Retargeter we just created. I'm going to add a DAS underscore prefix so we can easily find these assets. Once the retargeting is finished, go into the third person blueprint and change the skeletal mesh to the character we transferred and change the animation blueprint to the one we just retargeted. Now you can run the game and you'll see your character running around using the animations. First thing you'll probably notice is that the land animation is broken. To fix that, we're going to go into the animation and uncheck the force root lock checkbox and resave the animation. The next thing you'll run into is this head issue. This is caused by an IK rig for the foot height placement. To fix this, we'll go into the animation blueprint we retargeted. You'll see that there's a warning here. We'll just click on that to take us to it. And we're just going to bypass that rig. Uh, you can use the existing rig as an example to create one that matches the character to get that functionality back. And now you have your DAS character running around in the third person level.